So uh, today uh, we're looking at uh, a question that will help us understand how to prepare an income statement for uh, uh, a movie theater, you know, movie theater like um, your cinema, you know, your C. Robert cinemas, your Genesis cinemas, I guess, and then the, what do you call Zoom cinemas and all uh, those sort of business um, operations that's involved in, you know, selling uh, movie in views, basically. So the, the idea here uh, is that we're trying to, you know, account for such type of business uh, model. So when I say silver bed cinema, I'm not talking about the gallery. And when you go to the gallery, you have other businesses within the same complex. So if we're looking at that uh, type of business model, we'll be adding some other things to the uh, chart of account. But here, we're looking strictly uh, into the cinema business, okay? And then uh, remember, you can go to jadosconsulting.com to take classes that will help you understand what we're doing here. And the classes are free. You know, just uh, pick the topic that you're interested in and then proceed to the course, press play and take your class. If you have questions, you're free to reach me on the numbers displayed or drop questions in the comment sections and then I'll be there to reply with the right answers. You can get my textbook, okay, for yourself or you actually uh, order for others by sponsoring free copies, okay. Um, for yourself, you're going to pay 7000 per copy. If you're paying for us to give to students for free, 6500 We can pay in dollars, $12 for personal orders and then we have $11.5 for sponsored orders so that is it you can also support us if uh you believe that we've added knowledge to you know what you already know or maybe you've learned something new or whichever way i know the fact that we're actually putting this thing out there free of charge okay you can be benevolent by supporting the code by paying uh free donations into the account displayed so let's quickly take the question here. We have uh, the following trial balance has been extracted from the books of Ted Cinemas for the year ended at the first December 2018. So we have sales of movie tickets, 250 million, movie display equipment at cost 10,000, that's 10 million, uh, furniture and fittings at cost 15 million, land and building 43 million, uh, popcorn inventory at the first January 2018. Uh, we have 1.2 million supply of popcorn from Coco Popcorns Limited, uh, 5.4 million. Then we have soft drink supply from TT Distributions Limited, 6.5 million. We have transportation, 800,000. Salaries, 28 million. Rental income, 3 million 600,000. Promotional expenses, 2 million 300,000. Interest on fixed deposit, 10 million. Debtors, 45 million. Cash at bank, 185 million. Uh, we have vendors 8.9 million share capital is 100 million and then we have repairs 2.5 million premium expenses uh, <clears throat> uh, to be 500,000 plant and machinery 17 million 300,000 vehicles we have 10 million so we have additional information there uh, the business displayed eight movies for the year three were self-produced why the rest came from movie studios at an agreed sharing formula of 60 to 40 between the business and the movie studios respectively we have closing inventories there, popcorn 800,000, soft drinks 750,000, salaries in advance, there we have it uh, to be 5 million. The percent for the year was charged at 10% using straight line method. Then uh, the last one there, I can see it was agreed to revalue land and building at uh, to for the 5 uh, uh, million. Uh, and then we now have, uh, you are required uh, to uh, prepare, I can see uh, income statement for the year ended uh, at the first of 2018 uh, to prepare a statement showing how uh, self-produced movies performed for the year using the ratio of production to apportion all costs and revenues. And then I said, uh, show the cash at bank balance at the first of 2018 after paying the movie studio. So basically, uh, like I said, this is you know, um, helping us understand how to prepare income statement for cinemas or 
movie theaters, okay? I'll give you examples, you know, your Ozone cinema, your Silver Bed cinemas, your Genesis cinemas, and all other cinemas, okay? So typically, uh, how does a cinema operate? So let's say uh, movie uh, theater or cinemas, okay? So basically, like I said, it's a business model involved in what? Selling what? Uh, uh, movies in terms of viewings, okay? So you remember if you go to uh, the cinema, what do you do? You pay to view a particular movie. So uh, then we have tickets given to you to give you access to uh, what to the um, uh, the theater to watch the uh, the movie. So basically, uh, or the hall, you don't call it the theater, you can call it the hall, so where you actually watch the movie. So, you know, that is where the revenues are. So basically, you can say that cinemas make what? Uh, there are sales from what from uh, tickets okay so that's sale of tickets or you can say sale of what of spaces because you need space to sit down to watch the movie so basically it is a ticket that allows you space into the hall so basically you can say sale of tickets so they sell tickets but the idea is if they sell tickets so how do they get the movie so basically uh, if we look at uh, you know how it operates okay we can have various agreements here and there but uh, basically you know you can have the cinema produce its own movie you know they get the uh the guy that will do the direction get the guy that will write the script get the guy that will do all the stuff involved in you know producing a particular movie and then they take it to their cinema themselves and then sell but another thing they can do they can have an agreement that can have agreement between uh the movie theater or what you call the cinema and what um uh, the studio owners or, uh, or what we call movie studios, okay? So when you say movie studios now, for instance, uh, you're talking about, let's say, Golden Effects, for instance. Golden Effect can produce a movie and then go into an agreement with, let's say, uh, Genesis Cinemas, okay, to uh, uh, show the movie. Okay, Golden Effect here is more like um, the movie studio, Why Genesis Cinema is... Uh, uh, the movie theater where the movie is what is being sold powered per view. So basically, you can have that arrangement. So the arrangement is that the movie studio uh, produces the, uh, the movie and then sends it to what? The movie theater. The movie theater now sells at an agreement. They share. They share uh, in a particular ratio based on what they both agree. Okay, so the movie uh, studio can agree with the what? Movie theater to share at maybe 50 50, could be 60 to 40, could be 10 to 70, 45 to 55, depending on okay, uh, what is at play in the world industry or what has been agreed between both world parties. So, basically, from the perspective of what of the uh, movie theater, the cost that is being paid to the movie studio is the cost of what sales or the cost of production. Okay, because since they are not the one producing, they are paying the person that produced. So if they had sold, let's say, 1 million tickets in units here now, or they've sold 1 million views, let's use views now. They sold 1 million views, that means you need 1 million tickets to have that view. So they can say, okay, out of the 1 million views, the movie studio takes 40% or takes 50%, and then the what, movie theater takes another fee. So if the movie studio agrees to take 60%, that's more like um, 600 or 60,000 views, and the remaining 40,000 views goes to where? Uh, the movie studio. So the movie studio is going to be collecting the cost of what? 60,000 views from where? From uh, the movie theater. So that amount paid to the movie studio is more like the cost of sales, or the cost of producing the movie that has been sold in the movie theater or in the world cinema. So that is basically uh, the, uh, the the areas where money can be made. And that, Thing is, you can have excess cash that invest as a business, okay, and then becomes an income on investment. If you have other some 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 cinemas have the buildings, so uh, what they do, they can rent out empty spaces, okay, uh, for other businesses that can you know complement what they are into. So they make money from those spaces in form of rental incomes, okay. Even uh, the uh, uh, cinema can as well be involved in selling of some other complementary products like popcorn, soft drinks, you know, you know, to uh, help what they are actually into, which is what uh, sale of what movie view. So basically, uh, these are the areas where uh, money can be what made by what movie theaters or cinemas. So that is it. So let's quickly. Uh, take the question of course they, they also involved in uh, you know normal expenses they pay salaries because they have people working for them uh, if they don't have the building they pay rents okay they do transportations 
okay they, they spend you know uh what you call uh, your day-to-day -day running expenses uh as other business does as well, but you must understand the technicalities involved in a particular type of business before you begin what reporting. So basically, it's still the accounting procedures. So you must know how to start from basic transactions to your books of account, to your ledgers, to balancing, and then to the trial balance. Then from trial balance, if there are any adjustments at the end of the year that you need to bring in, you make the adjustment, get the extended trial balance, and then prepare your what, uh, your statements that you give to management okay to review for a particular what period so let's quickly uh take this question okay so what do we have there we have um the name of the business there is uh ted cinema so let's go we have ted Cinemas. As usual, they say we should prepare what income statements. So we can have income statement, okay, for what uh, the year ended. It's at the first uh, December two thousand and what eighteen. Okay, so we're going to have our notes showing how we get each items and then the values here. Okay, so. What's the first thing? Your turnover, Abby, which is more like your sales. So you can call that note what one. So let's look at that now. Okay. So let's go we'll say what note one. Okay. So so what's the thing that I can see? Sale of movie tickets. Okay. So we have our sales of movie tickets. What do we have there? 250,000. That's more like 250 million though. But we have three zeros up here. So is there any other income directly involved in what the business is into? Okay. Uh, I can see that there's no other thing here. So basically, we can say the turnover is what? 250,000. So let's say we have turn of wire to be 250, uh, 250 million though, but you know, the three zeros up there. So the next thing there, note two, we're going to say what? Cost of what? Sales, which is note what? Two. So let's say note what? Two. Okay? So we have this here. So what is uh, the cost of sales there? Okay, I can see, what I think I'm saying there, I can see that they made, uh, they sell popcorn, so they buy popcorn. They also sell soft drink as part of complimentary items for the movies. Now remember, if you go to, if you go to um, some cinemas, you know, when they give you tickets, they give you complimentary, maybe popcorn or soft drink, you know? Why in some cases you buy it on your own? But I think in this case, the business is the one that what sells the popcorn and the uh, Pepsi, uh, sorry, the sorry the, the soft drinks as well. So we're gonna report it as that, okay? But in the scenario where, as an accountant, uh, the business is not the one involved in what selling the soft drinks or the popcorn, then that does not concern you. But in this case, you know, we can conclude that the business is the one that does the sale. So we can have, I can see popcorn there, inventories there. Uh, opening inventories there, I can see popcorn inventory. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, opening stock, popcorn. I can see 1.2 million, so that's 1,200, okay? Remember, we always add purchases when we're dealing with inventories, right? So the inventory there is the popcorn. Now, what's the purchase there? I can see supply of popcorn from Cocoa Popcorn. Now, this can confuse because when you hear supply, you'll be thinking vendors, you'll be thinking creditors. But remember, you must understand uh, your balancing. You know, where an item is placed in the trial balance will help you treat that item better. In the debit side of the trial balance, the only thing you can find there are what expenses and assets 
in the credit side, the only thing you can find there are liabilities and what and income. So when an item is on the debit side, you either interpret it as an what as an asset or as an what expense. So you must understand these things. You must understand your balance. And if you don't have that knowledge, go to jarusconsulting.com to take your class on asset, liabilities, income, and what uh, <clears throat> expenses. So I can see supply of popcorn from cocoa property. That means cocoa properties is supplying the business. Okay, uh, what popcorn? So is it the debit side? So that's going to be an expense. So what sort of that, that would be purchases? Okay, they are not even telling us here. So that means as an accountant, you'll be able to understand an item by their balance, not by their behavior. So this thing is behaving as a cost. So in that case, it's purchases. Okay, so we have purchases of popcorn there to be five million four hundred thousand. So we have uh purchases popcorn. 5 million 400,000. What other purchases? We can see purchases a soft green supply from TT distribution 6 million 500. So we have purchases again, soft what drinks uh, 6 million 500. So when we add, what do we have? Okay, copy a calculator and let's do the addition. So we have 1200 plus 5400. Plus uh, 6,500. So I can see 13,100 there. 13,100. So what do we do? We're going to say less closing stock, right? So what's the closing stock according to the question? What's the closing stock according to the question? The closing stock there, I can see inventory. Popcorn is 800,000. So we have popcorn, 800,000. And then we have closing stock again, soft drinks. I can see 750,000. So let's take that out. So we have uh, 13,100 minus 800 minus what? 750. Okay. So what do we have there? 13,100 minus 800. So we have 11,550. 11,550. Eleven thousand five fifty. Okay, so this is your what? Your cost of sales with respect to the inventories. But remember uh, that uh, the movie produced, okay, has its own cost of what production, and then uh, the uh, cost of production varies between you know self-produced and what and um movie studio production, okay? You know, the cinema produced its own movies and also got some movies from uh, the movie studio. So, so let's have a uh, cost, okay, of uh, movie studios. Okay, so what do we have here? Remember, uh, they said that the business display eight movies up for the three year, for the year, and check me for the year, three we are self produced. Why the rest, uh, the rest came from movie studios at an average sharing formula of 60 to 40 between the business and the movie studios. So, what exactly is the so? First of all, we must be able to differentiate the sales between uh, that that is for you know self made movies and then that is for, for the movie studio. But because that is not explicitly stated here, we can just use. What we have to get what we want. So basically, the sales from movie tickets is what? Uh, 250 million, 250,000. Then they said what? We have uh, three for self made productions, and then we have five for what? Movie World Studios. At what? 60 to what? 40. 40 for movie studios, 60 for the business. So, first of all, let us share this into. Self-made and what movie studio. So for movie studio now it will be what five over what eight times two hundred and fifty thousand over one. For self-made to be what three over eight times two hundred and fifty thousand over what one. So what do we have for both sides here? So what do we have five divided by eight, okay, times two hundred and fifty thousand. So we have one fifty six two fifty. We have. 156, 250 for uh, movie studios, and then the remaining one there, okay, 
which is 93, 750 is for what? Self what? Produced. So, but now, what is the cost of what? This that is from movie studios, and what is the cost of this that is self produced? Because remember, this is a turnover. Now, for the movie studio, they say 60 to 40. So, cost here, because now the business, which is Ted Cinemas, will pay the movie studio 40% of the sales revenue from what? Movie studio sales. So, that will be a cost to Ted what? Cinemas, from Ted Cinemas' perspective. So, if you're reporting from movie studio perspective, that's another, uh, that's more like an income to him there. But for, from Ted Cinemas' perspective, the cost, okay? So, what's the 40% of this now? So, we say times what? 40 over what? 100. So what do we have? Okay. So we have uh, 156, uh, 250 times 0 0.4. So I have 62,500. So that's the cost of what? Producing movie studio. So what do we call this now? We call it 62,500. So what about the cost of what? Self-made. Look at what they said here. Note, uh, note six, note six here is saying that, note six here is saying the cost of self-produced movie is 60% of the sales attributable to self-made movies. So what's the sales attributable to self-made movies? Three over eight times 250, which is 93,750. So they say 60% now will be times 60 over what? 100, so what do we have? 93,750 times 0 0.6. So we have 56,250. So costs of self made movies is what? 56,250. So total cost of production now will be what? 56,250 plus 62,500. Plus eleven five fifty. So what do you have here? One thirty three hundred. So what do we say? Cost of production here got or cost of sales we got one thirty three hundred. So if you take that out, what do we have? One one nine seven hundred. One one nine seven. So this is your what? Gross what? Profit. Okay. These are gross what? Profit. All right. So now we say what? Other incomes. What are the other incomes? No three. What are the other incomes? So. We can take these notes. I'm going to have to clean it because we have to proceed. So what are the other incomes now? So we have <coughs> note three. What are the other incomes from the word question? Okay, I can see rental income. So we have rental income. Rental income is when you have a space that you're giving out and then people are paying you three million six hundred. Three million six hundred. Okay. Then what are, I can see interest on fixed deposits. Interest on fixed deposits, 10 million. What other income can I see there? Okay, uh, check uh, notes five. It was agreed to revalue land and building to 45 million. Now, what does that mean? Remember, I don't want to take us to Impairment, but let's just use our basic understanding here, okay? Ordinarily, at reporting periods, okay, 
you check the value of an asset with its marketable value and then report but let's not go there let's just do let's use our basic um, understanding here to make it easy for us so yeah they said it was agreed to uh revalue land and building uh to 45 million now how much was land and building in the trial balance look at the trial balance land and building here i can see uh 43 million so your land and building let's use our normal so land and building is an asset remember so we have balance brought for the 43 million they're not saying that we should revalue to 45 million so that means we want to increase this thing what we're saying is that at the time of balance sheet, the book value or the carrying amount is 40, what, 3 million. They're not saying that, but if you, if you look at the value in the market, it is now 45 million. So that means that it has increased. So if your phone or your, your phone, for instance, you bought it at 13,000, and then after like some years, to, you know, to your surprise, that same phone in the market, okay, Tokumbo, or fairly used, is now 14,000. Technically, you have an income. Because if you, if you choose to sell that, that phone now, by that market value, it is not 14,000, uh, no longer 13,000. So that 1,000 there is more like an income. So in this case, the book value of the land is 43,000. But nothing is to revalue to what? 45 million, which is 45,000 here. So that means there's an increase in the value, which is more like what? A revaluation or surplus, or a revaluation what? In how uh, uh, it is to be treated okay uh based on the finance policy or the reporting policy or the accounting policy of the organization okay so usually revenue reserves uh are, 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 are income so if you report as part of other income it will fall back to the reserve that is part of all distributed profit anyway that is if you want to actually appropriate it after recognizing or if you don't feel like appropriating data recognizing you can just recognize it as what reserve that, that does not form part of what uh the ordinary cost of what business but at the end of the day in your state of another position it also fall as part of what reserve so that it might not be uh classified as what um maybe a revenue reserve from what um uh day-to-day -day operations okay but it's going to be what a reserve which will be treated the same way your reserves are treated but let's just take this as part of what our what income so here if you want to increase it to 45,000, so that we're going to have revaluation what income or revaluation reserve of how much 2000 so it will come what 45,000. So here you're going to have carry down for 45,000. So we have 45,000 here. So the new value will be what 45,000. But then you're going to have revaluation income, which is land and building here, to be how much 2000. So this is more like an income, okay, which should be recognized, right? So we're going to have what I call revaluation what income of what two million so what's the next one there what's the next income item there another income item there is there another income item there is there another income item there i cannot find any other income item so basically other incomes here the total okay we have three six hundred plus uh ten thousand okay plus two thousand that's fifteen thousand six hundred fifteen thousand six hundred okay so that means for that income board 15,000 so if you add up okay plus 119700 you have 135,300 so this is your what your gross what income so let's take out our what total admin and running what expense let's call it note what four So let's call this one here, note what, four. So what are the expenses according to the question there? I can see transportation. So we have transportation. There is 800,000. Is there any information? No additional information on that. 
and then I can see salaries. Salaries there, according to the question, that's the travel that we have 28 million. But there's an additional information there. Uh, note three, salaries in advance amounted to 5 million. What salaries in advance? That's prepaid salaries. That means at the time of, um, as at the time of reporting, we have um, uh, salaries prepaid. That is some employees are not qualified to be paid salary, but they were paid in advance. So the tune of what? Uh, five million. So you must understand that how to treat prepaid uh, expenses. If you don't understand that, go to Jadus Consulting to take classes on what prepaid expenses. So what we do here is to reduce it. So we have minus what five thousand. So what do you have there? Twenty-eight uh, million minus five million. Then we have twenty-three. Okay. So what's the next one there? What's the next expense there? So. Uh, I can see promotional expense. So we have uh, promotions. I can see two million three hundred thousand. That's two three hundred. Uh, what's the next one there? Uh, what else? What else? What else? We've taken travel. We've taken salaries. Promotional expense. What else? What else? What else? What else? Cleaning expenses. I can see cleaning there. Cleaning there is 500,000. That's 500. Okay, so what's the next one there? Okay, there's no other one, but let's go. We have depreciation. Depreciation there is 10% on all depreciable items there. So we have depreciation on display equipment. So we have depreciation display what equipment that would be 0.1 times. What's the cost there? The cost there is 10,000. 10,000. So what's the 10% 10 of 10? I think this is 1,000. What's the next one there? Furniture and fittings. So depreciation. Furniture and fittings. That will be 0 0.1 times. What's the cost of furniture and fittings there? 15,000. So that will be 1,500. What's the next asset? Land and building uh, appreciated. So we're taking that into consideration. The next one there, I can see vehicles or plant and machinery. We have 1,300. So we have depreciation on plant and machinery. So we have 0 0.1 times 1,300. So what do you have? Uh, 0 0.1 times 1,300. 1,730. 1,730. So the next one there is vehicles. So we have depreciation on what? Vehicles. 0 0.1 times 10,000. That's also what? 1,000. So any other item there? There's no other item there. So basically, we are good to go with the total expense. What do you have? Total, yeah. So what do we have there? It's okay, so we have what, 800 plus 23,000 plus 2,300 plus 500 plus 1,000 plus 1,500 plus 1,730 plus 1,000. That's 31,830. 31,830. So that's total expense here is 31,830. So if you take that out, what do you have? Okay, minus 135,300. So I have 103,470. So this is your what? Your net profit or what? Loss. Net profit is where your gross income is and your what? Expense. Net loss is where your expense is going and your what? Gross. So we have it here. So that's for the first requirement. The second requirement there says that what? Uh, prepare a statement showing how self-produced 
movies performed for the year using the ratio of production to apportion all cost and revenues. Wow. So as an accountant, what you're trying, what they're telling you to do there is to what? Show the management how the units are producing. You can do it per movie, or you can categorize into self-made movies and what? Movie studios. But according to the question here, they're saying we should, we should show all that of what? Self-made movies. Okay? So let's go. Uh, so we have self-made what? Movies. So what do we have here? What was the turnover for self-made movies? I guess we already know that, won't we? We know now. That's, remember, three over eight times what? 250,000, right? If you remember, three divided by eight. No, they said they did eight movies. Three is self-made, five is. So we have three by eight uh, times 250,000. So we have what? 93,750, okay? So what is the cost of sales for self-made movies? You know, we have it directly here. We have 56,250. 56, excuse me, 56,250, right? So this is what? Self-made movies. Remember, we have inventories as well, but that one, how do we share? They gave us a formula there. They said what? We should use the ratio of production to share that one. Okay, ratio of production. So what do we have Still five to ratio what? Three, right? So what do we have? Cost of sales here. So cost of sales for what? Inventories. Okay, so what do we have? That will be what? Three over eight times what? 11,550. Okay, so three divided by eight times eleven five fifty. So by the we have four three three one approximately. So if you take this out, what do you have? You have a ninety three. 93,750 minus 56,250, okay, then minus what? 4,331. So that means that what? Gross profit is what? 33,169. So what's other income? So we're using cost, we're using production towards ratio of production towards to a portion. What other income here? Other income here is five, fifteen six hundred, right? So we have three over eight again times fifteen over one. Fifteen over one. So we have three divided by eight again, right? Times what? Fifteen six hundred, right? Fifteen six hundred. I'm saying 5850 there. 5850. So if we add plus 33169, you have 39019. Okay, so this is your what? Gross income. So what are your total expense? Total expense according to the question here. Where is it? It's 31,830. They said we should use what? We should use production. So that will still be 3 over 8. 3 over 8 times what? 31,830. So we have 3 divided by 8 times 31,830. What do I have? 11,936 approximately. 11, Nine three six. If you take that out, that will be 
39019 okay uh minus 1193 so we have 27083 27083 so this is what net profit or what loss for what self made movie so at the same time you can be asked to show performance for what movie studios so online as an accountant you should show both self made movies and movie world so the turnover here we use the production to to, uh, to share it and then cost of sales here you know we already have it here which is what we took here then uh the inventory they say we should use production which we did all around so that is it for that and then they show the cash balance and after, to after paying movie studios wow so your cash and asset now so we have cash accounts okay right or what do we do should we use vertical format we have debits we have credit balance brought forward here okay according to the trial balance the cash at bank is what one eighty five thousand one eighty five thousand so if we pay maybe if you pay your cash book your credit pay movie studios how much do you pay movie studios now? 62500 So they ask us how much what is the cash balance after paying movie what studios? So we have what? Balance tied down, Which is 185,000 minus 62500. We have 122,500. So, 185,000. So, we have balance brought down here to be 122,500. So, after paying movie studios their money, the cash that we'll be having is 122,500 words, thousand. Then, if you have to pay other people, back. according to the court, I can see that. Even the producers of the self-made movies might have not been paid here. Yeah. But let's not go into that. Let's just follow the question. So the value of the cash balance after paying movie studios here is one of the two million five hundred thousand. One eighty five is what we have in the cash in bank. Well, we pay movie studios they are, they are caught, which is the two five hundred. We have what we two what five hundred. So that is the requirement, okay? And that's basically. Uh, the preparation of what uh, income statement for um, uh, uh, movie theaters or cinemas. Okay, uh, uh, if you have questions, you can reach me on the number displayed. I'll be able to reply you with the right answers. With what I have here, we can also prepare the what the balance sheet. We can even go as far as preparing the cash flow statement. But you know, let's follow the what uh, the requirement. If you have uh, questions so or they need to want us to look at the balance sheet you can reach me on the numbers displayed and then we can look at it together or if you have questions of what we have done here uh, you can reach me on the numbers displayed or drop questions in the comment section out there to reply with the right answers if uh, you also feel that uh, you want to support us you can do that uh, by uh, with your free with donations by paying to the account displayed uh, we we'll, uh, appreciate it you can reach us to let us know how uh, you can be of help to us thank you don't forget, you can as well order my textbook for yourself or sponsor copies so we can distribute to students for free. Thank you.